Well, Alice and Dick, those two drones came way too close to a plane in the sky tonight, forcing a temporary ground stop here at Newark Airport to both inbound and outbound flights, affecting passengers delayed for about an hour. Now, that ground stop has now been lifted, and authorities are searching for whoever is responsible. Arriving home from an eight hour flight from Norway, the last thing this passenger wanted to deal with was a delay in the sky caused by a pair of drones. They shouldn't be flying them near an airport. Period. You know, if they do and they get caught, well, they got to pay the consequences. Sources tell TV 1055 the two drones were spotted around 5 p.m., flying 3,500 feet above Teterboro Airport, less than 20 miles from Newark Liberty International. You can hear air traffic control audio at one point spot the objects flying dangerously close to a plane. Something on final here. We don't. Uh, we thought maybe it was a drone, uh, but there's uh, definitely something uh, on final. Yes, sir. Object, and it uh, definitely looks like a drone. Missed the drone by about 30 feet off our right wing. The drone sightings prompted a police helicopter search. This map shows at one point about a dozen planes stopped on the tarmac. Some flights were delayed from taking off. Others had to circulate in the air several times before they could land. Uh, they didn't tell us anything. Like uh, we just like uh, were around, but the, the pilot never mentioned anything. About three times, yeah, more or less. But we felt it was maybe about the weather. While the disruption at Newark was short-lived, it comes just weeks after drone sightings at London. London's Gatwick Airport paralyzed December holiday travel, canceling hundreds of flights. Also last year, a drone flew dangerously close to a Frontier Airlines flight in Las Vegas. Concerning for authorities, especially after a recent study shows what kind of damage a drone colliding with a plane could cause. And the FAA says it receives about 100 calls per month about drone sightings and it's now coordinating with federal law enforcement agencies. And whoever is responsible could face criminal penalties and fines up to $15,000. We're live at Newark Airport in New Jersey, Natalie Dudridge, TV 1055.